Hello, uh, Danny Gamble here. So I, I just did a kind of a uh, quick, well not quick, 10 minutes of video on uh, kind of, hello, been, I'm back again. So uh, we're heading into the, well we are uh, in the third week of um, August here and I was just talking about a course I just did today and, and a little bit about family and stuff like that. So anyways, so just catching people up. And I decided just to go ahead and continue on and do another video. I think this one will be one of those political videos. Um, cause just because what's going on in the crazy world again, and this never seems to end. Um, uh, I, I've tried to express uh, more than once, quite a few times now, that like, because I'm because I, I don't want my videos. Or, or when I when I talk politics, I don't want my videos to sound like I'm so negative. They're um, it's not so much negative as um, as as bothered, worried, uh, concerned. You know, like our country, I'm in Canada. Is is you know running fairly well, um, and luckily for Canadians, we're still. Um, kind of like early stages naive and I want it's wonderful because as people we still get politicians that are in there for the right reason um, although we're starting to see more and more that are being bought and paid for um, and therefore are, are, are faking the work for everybody to say the right words but then actually looking after um, select groups that are supporting them and getting them there and promoting them up and yes i know what i'm heading to with the u.s here again but again i want people to understand i want us to do well i mean not only are they my neighbors but i mean christ i got family down there but like they're also so important to the world and pissing me off that they're so um, they're so failing I mean, they're failing right now they're failing themselves first and foremost absolutely failing yourself and and I don't know how it'll change because when I was just talking about our politicians their politicians have been bought and paid for from day one it seems like there's just not there's no integrity there's no morals there's no um, I'm here for the people. And they're barely even saying some one of the parties right now is barely even saying they're for the people or, or they're saying it with tongue in cheek that's so <laughs> that everyone's kind of like, yeah, they don't mean that. They're smart enough, but and you say smart enough, but how can they? Because they, these are the ones that were brought along not to smart enough, just to um, greed, you know, like you're Here's some money under the table, you know, get you through, you'll have a great life. You know, you know, just just keep ranting and raving in our favor of what we want. And uh, we will keep paying you. Uh what is this about? Something's cut up on me. Oh, looks like I got a, maybe something jumping in front of me. Okay, oh, um, sorry, hopefully I didn't ruin the whole video. Um, so, so America, now the new thing is, um, is uh, pulling out of the country, Afghanistan. And is, isn't it interesting that that happens right now, which kind of distracts from, you know, what happened on um, so January 6th? Um, you know, like when you guys had one party with your previous president trying to keep in power and they went after their, um, you know, their Congress and their Senate and, you know, the, the House representatives. It's so, you know, like, it's like, it's like you don't, I was going to say you don't credit your people for being smart enough to see the distractions you pull 
And I'm disappointed because this distraction got caused by someone that I thought was going to settle your country down, this Biden guy. I thought he was going to calm things down. But I mean, why he decided he had to do this right now while they were trying to investigate um, and, you know, get some results. So there, all the news is now distracted and gone away from it. You guys really need to not let a guy like Donald Trump back in. And not because I care one way or another about Donald Trump. I don't. Don't care. Don't, you know, I got nothing to do with him. And I got nothing to do with the parties, over the parties. Like, I don't. I got no skin in the game. Like I said, I'm Canadian. Um, but you, you need to, you need to realize that you're kind of, you know, a, a wolf in a hen house. And, uh, you know, we, we can look at history, guys like Hitler and stuff, where people just thought, oh, well, we, we'll control him and he'll, we'll use him to our needs, to our, to our means and our needs. And then, oops, can't control him. And oops, now we've got a bigger problem on our hands. Donald seems to be right up that alley, guys. Come on, like. It's so obvious. You, you need to have um, rule of law actually have a meaning to it. You, you, can't, you can't allow people to structure it so that they always win. I mean, I mean, what are you doing? Like, you know, it's okay to lose a Super Bowl and come back next year and try to win it. Like, you know, in this case, four years and, or two years for your other parts of your election. But just to allow... You know, like you can't lose attitude. It's so, it's so poor. It's so non-democratic. It's so uh, third world. It's so embarrassing to you, but to the world too. Because you know, we're hoping you guys run a great country, and other countries, you know, take some lead from you and work with you, and they run good countries. And that therefore the majority of people in the world have um, a decent life. And um, you know, it doesn't look like the way you're going. And 50 50, you know, obviously scares the hell out of most of us because that sounds like eventually civil war, you know, riots. So we're already seeing riots in the street. Um, you know, Mexico's not safe then, Canada's not safe then. You know, the, the world's not safe then. Dictators and greedy people will run the world. And, and yes, they want to. And yes, Donald is one of them. Um, so you need to stop it. You need to stop it soon. And how do you stop it? Well, it's hard for sheep to get, well, he's the wolf, but there's also the dogs, right? The, you know, the armies and stuff and the policing and all that that controls the sheep, right? Um, so it's hard for sheep to push back on all that, especially when, um, if they have any decent leaders that are, um, you know, they poking their head up and people can tell, well, that sheep, he's, he's, he's the one we got to take care of. And then the sheep around them will just be happy to eat the brown grass that we allow them. Um, but the sheep too need to take some control, not only in pushing back, but also in what they're doing. I mean, overpopulating the world's no good either. Um, so, like, we need to realize that, you know, there's only so many resources and we need to all um, help our fellow sheep, make sure everyone gets a piece, their piece of grass, you know, their, their nice home or decent home and decent food, decent jobs, and decent medical, and all the simple things that will make them happy. And it's funny, actually, the, the rich and greedy have kind of, they, they overdid it. <laughs> like, really, they, they, they were winning, you know, and they still are. But um, now there's starting to be a pushback, a groundswell. And that's probably what happened in history when you look at things like the pyramids and, you know, you look at South America and stuff. Like what happened to these big societies that were doing all well and all of a sudden they're just gone and nobody knows why. Uh, probably there was a rise up because it eventually, eventually, uh, uh, actual slaves or slaves through economics. They just have enough. It's like they got nothing to lose. This life isn't worth living, and it's not worth living. And we rise up, and holy cow, there's so many of us. They don't actually stand a chance, and they don't. But they're smart that way, and they know that, and that's why they pick off the, you know, the, the leaders of the sheep. <laughs> so, so I'm no leader. <laughs> I got no following, and this tape probably won't even be watched. 
So the Afghanistan thing has come along and it's been a joke for, well, what is it, 20 years? Like, and it just, and then Russia before that and Britain and France before that. Like, the people there that didn't take all those years of training and actually do something to resist, there was a reason, well, it was a simple reason. They realized that resisting was going to only lead not only to their deaths, but probably their families' deaths. And the fact is, the U.S. just stopped and decided to pull out. Well, I mean, they should have been pulling out for years anyway. It really should have happened 10 years ago. Um, but, you know, what, the top leaders running out of the country with money, you know, um, probably, most likely, um, a new group coming in saying, look, you know, don't shoot at us, we won't shoot at you. You know, we know it wasn't you, we know that you did this because, you know, you had the Americans backing you, so why wouldn't you? So, that said, I do hope the group coming in can be a little nicer to the women of their country and uh, be smarter because at the end of the day, if they're too cruel, guess what? If you're too cruel, you'll end up having a community of countries come back in and so you'll be back to slaughtering and, and maybe that's your maybe that's your economy right you get guns you get arms you get food you get money like maybe you know no you've, been, you've been doing it for so many generations maybe you know no other way to really survive in the country and that's sad too isn't it all the arms are sad why do we have to keep uh feeding that industry, you know, like, it's uh, sickening, oh, you know, we make lots of money, so let's just do it, let's more guns, more tanks, more whatever, well, not really tanks in those countries anymore, so it's all kind of guerrilla warfare, so I'm sad to see that that's happening, I'm also sad to see that America just truly can't get their act together, um, Oh, the rest of the rest of the world doesn't trust you now. Like even your allies are very skeptical. Because even if Biden can do what he wants to do for the next few years, unless you kind of make it clear to the world that guys like Donald are not going to get to control uh, the Republicans and the Republicans won't get back in if guys like that control them, you're not going to have much support because we're all just waiting for the shooter drop. And therefore, we can only you know tongue in cheek say you. Oh, yeah, yeah, you yeah, know, well, that's a good idea. Yeah, that's a good idea, Mr. Biden. Yeah, that's a good idea. Oh, you're gone. Oh, Donald's back in. Oh, here we go again. Donald. You're an asshole. <laughs> you deserve to be arrested. You deserve to go to jail. You deserve to have all this fake money you've been getting from people confiscated and given back to them. The people that are being fooled by Donald. Why? Like, what influencers are making you not use your own intelligence, do your own research? Like, you're literally killing people in your own states by, you know, doing things like the anti-mask stuff and anti-vaccine stuff. You're killing yourselves. You're killing your family members. You're, you're making people sick and go to hospital for months and then have maybe mental health issues for the rest of their life because there seems to be some residual coming out of this. That's, I, I said to someone that was actually, I've got to move this new place I'm at the pool. So I met him there and right away he was kind of like, I could tell he was probably, you know, I don't know if he's from some states, but definitely he was um, of that attitude. <laughs> you know, anti everything. And, uh, you know, he started on about uh, not taking the shots and that you know some I don't know what there was, was some story I can't remember what it was it was kind of farcical but I said to him I said tell you what do you go to the New Mexico ever he goes yeah I said um, when you go to Mexico do you get your hepatitis A and B shots he goes well yeah <laughs> I said so to sit on a beach, you're willing to get a shot just to make sure that you're safe in case you step on a piece of glass or, or you drink 
or you eat some salad that's got some water that's infected. And yeah, I tried to catch on where I was going with this. But here you are, you won't take a shot. To, oh, I need you to pay for your 50 bucks for it, 60 bucks, whatever you pay for it, for those shots. Um, but you're not willing to take a shot that's free. Even, even if you don't personally need it because your immune system is strong enough, it might help somebody around you that you're talking to at some point, like me in this pool right now. And uh, goes, I never had it explained to me that way. Yeah, yeah, I get my hepatitis just on the beach. So yeah, yeah, I guess, I guess someone should come out. And it's not like you should come out with that. There's millions of good reasons being explained by a lot of people. But it's funny how people don't have a problem taking shots so they can visit other countries and do other things. But sitting at home, they won't do it. But they scream for their rights. And their rights might kill somebody else. Like, that's your right to kill somebody else? No, it's not your right to kill somebody else. That's your right to walk across a freeway. You know, you got to go to where there's a crosswalk and there's lights or an overpass. Like, there's rules that help to save not only the person that's abiding by the rule, but the people that, if you didn't abide by the rule, would be affected. And hepatitis and, and all kinds of um, malaria. Like, there's so many things that we're all willing to take a shot for to help us not get uh, sick um, or, or, or have a problem in the future or create a problem for others around us because we, you know, didn't take the vaccines. It's such a non issue. Or it should be such a non-issue. And it's so sad that politicians are for their um, parties or for, in, this, in their case, a lot of times, to support a single person named Donald Trump. Like, what the fuck? Come on, guys. America. Uh, you're, you're next to Canada, which I live in, I was born in. Next to Canada, you're my favorite country. Smart up. I, I, I want to. I want to see you guys, you know, rise again in the eyes of the of the planet. And um, you've allowed yourself to be just uh, laughable. And seriously, you're laughable. And and if someone that me like me that really cares for you guys is saying you're laughable, I'm not saying it with happiness. I don't really remember they're laughable. No. I was saying with sadness because it's like, fuck, get your act together, please, because I want this kind of country, your kind of a country, you know, England and France, and I want countries that are, you know, uh, for the people, by the people. I'm not sure if this line or something close to that. I want to, I want the planet to go in a way where people can live a good, healthy life, and. Um, and not be under the thumbs of a few. And yes, the thumbs of a few are pushing hard. They've been pushing hard for, for, for centuries now. But you know, usually, usually we can see it and stop it. And um, it's time to stop it again. And you guys have to start stopping it in your own country before you can stop it around the world and preach it to the world. And maybe you need to start kind of find a way not to focus so much at your your power on weaponry. I know you need to keep it to protect yourselves, but um, as it's becoming pretty clear, you have more problems internally than you do externally. Uh, not too many people can land a boat on the American shore and come ashore with bearing guns. I mean, you know, the smallest state in your country would whip their asses. You guys own your own guns. You all know how you use them. I mean, Stupid invasion to ever invade America <laughs> because you're, um, you know how to protect yourselves, and there's nothing wrong with that, I don't think, either. But um, overkill and going abroad and saying to the world that we should live to be like you when you've become laughable. Change that. Get back to being something that everyone in your country and other countries around you can go, I don't know, America, they're great. Don't fuck with America, they're a great country. Right now, it's uh, you're being manipulated by a few 
And those few can be like from all kinds of countries like Russia and stuff. China. You're being manipulated because you're allowing people within your country to have key um, influence over others. And those people that are getting key influence over others are being bought off hugely. Um, greed is a disease. Not the first time I've said that. Greed is a disease. And perhaps we need to worldwide cap greed so that more people can live a decent life and a few can basically force millions and billions to live a shitty life so they can have pretty bank accounts. Give them lots. Give them, give them more than they could ever and their family could ever need. But then the rest after that, let's get it back into the economy. Let's get it back to people. So, you know, medically and, and house over, roof over their head and food in their bellies and chance of decent jobs that will allow them to have some other small fineries like a car or, you know, a trip or a holiday, whatever. Um, that's what humanity should do. Why shouldn't we all look around us and be smiling, you know, and smile at the guy next to us, smile at the the family that we see that, you know, are laughing and giggling. Why not? What's wrong with that? All right. I preached. I'm sorry. But I'm new and I'm fresh at getting back to this. So, and this is a long one. Really long. <laughs> All right. So, Danny Gamble. Uh, love to all. Cheers.